Welcome to Fitness Friday. I'm Nathan Crane with Crane Factor, where we bring you leading edge information, products, and training on living a healthy, fit, and inspired life. And today I want to talk about the benefits of wearing barefoot shoes. Now, you've probably seen the, the five finger shoes, right? Or even super thin shoes have a super thin uh, sole. There's a zero millimeter. They have a super thin sole. There's a zero millimeter heel to toe drop, meaning that it's just flat. You don't get that raised heel in the back like most athletic shoes give you. Uh, let me show you here real quick what I'm wearing. Uh, I'm wearing the Vibram Five Fingers, right? It gives you the space for your toes. Now, should you really wear these? What's the benefit? Why should you wear them? What are they gonna do for your body? Can you wear them training? Can you wear them weightlifting? Can you wear them running? Can you wear them just every day? Now, let me answer all those questions as quick as I possibly can. The answer to all of them is yes, you can wear them for everything. And you also have to be careful about uh, how quickly you wear them and how often you wear them. So. Uh, I'll get into that in a minute. Let's first talk about the benefits of being totally barefoot or wearing barefoot shoes. One is, it helps your feet to get into their more natural state. If you look at my feet and most kind of uh, athletic people's feet, people who grew up in sports or athletics, uh, a lot of times, especially if their parents did as well and their grandparents did, then the genes get spread down through epigenetics through each generation. And the feet, rather than the toes coming out perfectly straight, they start to curve in. Now, if you take an athletic shoe, a cleat, a cowboy boot, anything that you know us or our parents or our grandparents wore, then you'll see they're shaped like this, right? Exactly like this. They come to a point, and your feet are shaped exactly like that. Well, that's not that's not how our feet are supposed to be designed. They get shaped into the shape of the shoe. Now, what that does is that can later start to cause some issues with joint pain, knee pain, back pain, things like that. It also causes issues with the arch, uh, the arch becoming more flat footed, right? Because you, a lot of these shoes have arch support. I remember when I was in football, soccer, things like that, the podiatrists always recommend, hey, you need extra arch support. Well, what does that do? That prevents your foot from creating its own arch, right? And so then you take that out and then you have real problems with your heels. I had major problems with my heels as a kid. Uh, I had major problems with quads, with uh, knees, things like that. And still dealing with some of those issues today that I'm having to correct. One of the things that will correct them is wearing barefoot shoes. Why? It allows your feet to build their own natural arch. It allows your toes to start forming in that straight, open uh, design that they're supposed to be. And you know, that's how they're supposed to be, and we lose that by the types of shoes we wear. So you should definitely be wearing barefoot shoes in your life, or even just flat sandals, or earth runners, or any kind of shoe that is, simulates a barefoot style of shoe. It's gonna help your body over the long term, right? You're not gonna see benefits in a few days, but in a few years, you'll start seeing a big difference. So. One thing you gotta be really careful with though, transitioning barefoot shoes is that, especially if you're an athlete or you do any kind of running or weightlifting or CrossFit or things like that, you want to ease into it. Uh, because like what happened to me, I started wearing them when I was running and training for an ultra marathon. And the first time I wore them, I went out and ran like a regular seven or eight mile training run. And about five, four to five miles in, I tore a tendon between my toes. Then I had to run the rest of the three miles or whatever it was on that torn tendon to get back home. And that sucked. I couldn't run for months after that. And it was just because my feet just weren't used to it. So what I recommend to start with is you start wearing them just walking around you know, a few hours a day. If you just go to work or you go to the gym or you go out to the grocery store, whatever you're doing, just start wearing them. Naturally walking as much as you can. Do that for a few weeks before you actually start training in them. And then when you start training in them, you start running in them or working out in them, um, you know, do it really slowly. So if you normally run, say maybe a couple miles, only run half of that, right? Run a mile or a half a mile first, start doing that a few days a week. Start working up to it, because then when you do, you're gonna notice a huge difference in your posture. You're gonna notice a huge difference over time in the arch of your feet. Your feet will actually become stronger. The tendons, the ligaments in your feet become stronger. This is all scientifically proven, uh, which 
ultimately helps your knees, helps your hips, helps your back. So over time, the more and more you wear them, the more and more you bring them into your training, the more and more you can just wear them around every day, running them, training them, the more it's gonna help your body long-term to get healthy, more fit, more strong, more agile, everything. So the shoes are amazing to add into your life. Ultimately, just going barefoot as much as you can walking around the house. Like I almost never wear shoes or socks or anything inside the house or when I'm walking around outside. I go barefoot as much as I possibly can. Just that alone will help you as well. And then adding these in for your everyday are gonna make a huge difference. So yes, the science concludes, our ancestry concludes, the epigenetic, epigenetics concludes. Wearing barefoot shoes is going to help your body in the long run. So start adding them in today. So that's it for today's Fitness Friday. Feel free to leave me your thoughts, comments below. We will respond to any questions you might have. If you got some good tips from this, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. We put out new videos every single week. So thanks so much. We'll talk to you next time.